Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here with a video on integrating exponentials that have bases other than e. Remember the derivative rule for exponentials, the derivative with respect to x of some b to the x, where b is any positive base that is not 0 or 1. The formula for that is itself b to the x times ln of the base. And what we just want to point out for you here is if we take the derivative, we get the same thing, but we multiply by ln of the base. So if the antiderivative is the opposite process, then what we would get is instead of multiply by the base, we would actually get the opposite thing, which is divide by the base, since it's just a constant multiple. This ln of b, remember, will just be some number. So we know that you probably know the integral of e to the x is itself, e to the x plus c. Here if you have a different base, the overall exponential rule for integrals here, the antiderivative of some base to the x dx is going to be that same thing divided by ln of the base plus c. We've got our rule up here. These are the four examples we're going to work through in this video. If you want to skip to one of these four, you're welcome to do that. We're going to go ahead and work these in order. Our first example here, we have the integral of 2 to the x dx. So you can see our formula here says we keep the 2 to the x, so we get 2 to the x itself, divided by ln of the base, so that would be over ln of 2, plus our constant. And believe it or not, that's actually the entire process itself. Let's move on to the second one here. If we have the integral of 10 to the x dx, a similar thing happens. We get 10 to the x itself. We go ahead and divide by ln of the base, so we get divide by ln of 10. We don't forget our plus c, and that one is also complete. If you think about how you usually do e to the x, so the integral of e to the x dx, you usually just get e to the x plus c, right? Well, the formula here still applies, right? We would get e to the x divided by ln of the base, so ln of e plus c. And what is ln of e? Well, ln of e is just 1, right? So this actually, the e to the x rule for integration also applies here. So if you remember this one, then you also remember the e to the x rule, even though that one's pretty short as well, right? Let's move on to our next one, the integral of x times 3 to the x squared dx. So now you can see we have a product and we have a function inside of our exponent, so this needs to be a u substitution for this one. So what we'll go ahead and do, I see an x squared here and I see an x, and the derivative of x squared is some multiple of x, so I'm going to choose u to be x squared, my exponent there. And if I do that, then du, the derivative of that, is actually 2x dx. And think about what we have now. This exponent becomes u, so I get 3 to the u there. But now here I have x dx is the rest of that. Here I have 2x dx, so to find what x dx is, I could divide this by 2 on both sides. That gives me 1 half du is exactly x dx. And then I know that this x dx gets replaced with 1 half du. Okay, let's go ahead and bump the 1 half out front though, right? Constant multiple 1 half. We get integral of 3 to the u. Put your du in the back, right? 3 to the u du. And now we're going to use our exponential rule here. So we'll get 1 half. We get 3 to the u. So times 3 to the u. Divide by the ln of the base, so divided by ln of 3 plus c. We're going to go ahead and combine a couple things. Notice I have a 2 and an ln 3. Those are both just constants. Let's go ahead and put those together. So let's say 1 over 2 ln 3. And then 3 to the u, let's go ahead and replace the u. Remember, u was x squared, so getting back in terms of x, that'll be 3 to the x squared plus our constant. Our last one here, we have the integral of 5 to the ln x over x dx. So notice ln x is inside of our exponential. It's our exponent. Uh, since we don't have a chain rule for integrals, when I have an exponent, I bet a good guess for u substitution is to let u equal the stuff in the exponent often. That's a good choice. So let's try that. u is equal to ln of x. The derivative of ln x, so du, would be 1 over x dx. And now let's look back and see if this works. 5 to the ln x, this ln x becomes u. We chose that on purpose, right? And now this 1 over x dx, do you see it here? This dx out here and this x on the bottom, that's actually 1 over x dx, right? So this is actually du. 
So then this will give us just the integral of 5 to the u du. And if we use our definition up here, then that gives us 5 to the u over ln of our base, so over ln of 5 plus c. And if we go back and replace our u as ln x, then we'll have 5 to the ln of x divided by ln of 5 plus c. All right, everyone, good luck with integrating exponentials in different bases. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.